What's going on YouTube? I am back. So we're here to talk about more woke foolishness that's out of control these days. We all know it. We've got lots of different stories in this video. We've got one about a man going into the women's bathrooms and getting busted. We've also got a woman who's upset that men have jobs. Don't know what the hell she's talking about. We've got an SJW having a freak out when they get busted by the cops, shrieking like a banshee. And lots of other stuff as well. But as I always say first up, if you want to help me out, hit the like button and subscribe button as well. And if you do hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit all notifications. Because I'm struggling here. But not as much as this person. And look, are we supposed to believe what's going on here? Are we supposed to believe that that is what they're telling us it is? Is that what's going on here? Because I'm not buying it for a second. It's straight up bullshit. We need more people like this out there in the public eye to call out the foolishness that I just showed you. And I'm sure this article here will be praising, will be praising these two individuals. Let's check it out. Ah, oh, unfunny business. Dave Chappelle and Ricky Gervais sink to new depths. Show two once funny comedians continuing to punch down on a desperate quest for relevance. Really? I don't think so. The Guardian is talking out their ass and these are still two of the most popular comedians anywhere on planet Earth. What the hell is going on here? Oh yeah, that's the guy the other day who lunged at the judge. Now he's bagged up like that, like the piece of garbage that he is. But no doubt there'll be some liberals out there signing a petition to have that guy released. Put him back on the streets. He didn't do nothing. <laughs> but let's check out this video here of this guy using the women's bathrooms, okay? But the thing is that these days, anyone can pretty much do this if you say... I identify as a woman. That's enough these days. You can have a beard if you want. That is how ridiculous and disturbing it is right now. Check this out. The OB, protect your kids. Huh? Let me make sure nobody in here. Hello? See? There go man. There go. There's a man. There's a man. You know, this is the women's bathroom, right? Sorry. This, that's the women's bathroom. A man in the women's bathroom. That's why you got to go in here with your kids. Make sure, let me make sure nobody else ain't in here. Now, this chick here is upset that men have jobs. They're out there doing the hard work. Check this out list of jobs that men should not do especially grown-ass men okay for one mcdonald's burger king wendy's matter of fact any fast food restaurant if you think that you are a grown-ass man working in a fast food restaurant is okay something is wrong with you all she's doing is showing how out of touch she is these days if you got any job count yourself lucky i don't give a shit if it's i don't give a shit if it's at mcdonald's or wherever if you got a job, you're doing better than a lot of people, okay? And this person here just talking absolute garbage. Right? Leave those jobs to the teenagers. My nephew can't even get a job right now because there's some grown-ass men in his goddamn 40s flipping my goddamn burger, okay? Let it go. I applaud those older guys for getting those jobs, right? You have to throw your ego out the window. If you need to survive, you work any job you can. Now we've got this SJW having a freak out, having an absolute meltdown when they get pulled over by the cops. Check this out. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, 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 I'm gonna protest this in court and you're telling me that you singled me out. That's what you're telling me, right? And then everyone was going at the same pace, right? I no, drive on that road at 30 miles an hour all the time. Are you going to listen to me or yes, are you? I will listen to you and you're not going to let me go even though we got me letters later. And I always do everything right and I follow the law and I was... It's so ridiculous. <laughs> what even is this? I don't even know what's going on anymore. Reaffirming the stereotypes about Prius drivers... <laughs> Although, I will admit, the new Prius does look pretty good. It's the same pace as every other car. Ma'am, are you going to let me explain this to you here? Yes, but I am also going to record our conversation. Okay, it's being recorded. We have video right here, and the whole conversation is being recorded here, too, okay? You're, okay. More, you're more than welcome to record it, okay? All right. 
Like I said, the reason why I pulled you over was because you were going 43 and a 30, which was 13 over, okay? I was going you at did... the same pace as every car. I couldn't go slower. Okay. They honk. They okay, honk at you. That's, that was your words, okay? I had your 43 and a 30, which was 13 over. This person was busted. I'm not sure if they're a man or a woman. Look, I don't want to make any assumptions. It goes on for longer, but you and I don't want to watch the rest of them. Okay, so now this chick is um, is going to tell us what she gets up to in the shower. Interesting. Maybe some of you know this about me, but I love to eat in the shower. I love to eat and drink in the shower. Shower appropriate items like cereal or yogurt, coffee, tea. Cereal in the shower. What the fuck is going on here? What the absolute fuck? Popsicles. I know. Melt factor. But safe, you know, down the drain, anything drops, you're good. Now we have a law professor from the University of Alberta. Check this out. As a law professor who teaches criminal law, I felt compelled to inform you to be gay, do crimes. Also, look at my pretty earrings today. Someone involved, someone in uh, that type of position, encouraging people to commit crimes? I mean, uh, back in the day, that would have been cause for dismissal. But these days, I'm sure it'll be congratulated, probably given an award and a promotion for those viewpoints. But universities these days are like uh, this. No. You. Oh my god. Rat infested shitholes. <laughs> but this guy here is talking my language, talking common sense. Check this out. What's wrong with this generation? Besides TikTok? You know what? Hey, dudes ain't dudes no more. There's no more stand up guys. As soon as the skinny jeans came in, dudes fucking went out the window. That's, that's just what I think, man. Guys now, they, they want to be on TikTok and they're worried about how many likes and bullshit they get. Be a man. Pull your pants up. Go get a fucking job and be a man. No lies spoken there. That skinny jean trend. Jesus Christ. Can we end that? That was always a bad idea for guys to take on that trend from women. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that became a thing. But uh, which country is this? Let me know in the comments. What country do you think this is? I mean, if you, you might guess, uh, you know, somewhere in, uh, okay, where do you think that was, this, right? It's actually in um, modern day Sweden. Yes, that's, um, that was actually Sweden. Interesting stuff. But as I always say, hope you're having a good day. And as I always say after that, get the hell out of my stinking house.